White Boy Rick is directed by uh, Yan Deminge. Okay. Uh, I can't say can't his say his name. Yeah. Uh, and stars Matthew McConaughey, Jennifer Jason Lee, and up up in newcomer uh, Richie Merritt, who plays the, the plays boy. the main boy. Yeah. Uh, and and you also got Slater from Days and Confusing this. And then you also got Bruce Dern, Bruce Dern, and, and, and Piper Laurie. Piper Laurie from yeah. Uh, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. And then basically this movie is based on the true events that happened, based on Richie Merritt, who was a guy, or I'm sorry, Richard. Worst Jr., who in real life was a kid that, a 15-year-old boy who was doing some, like, he was basically at first helping his dad with doing gun, gun smuggling and, it's and in stuff. in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. And basically, after he gets involved with some other kids around this uh, skating rink, uh, he ends up going to do, like, Get drug, into de drug, drug dealing, dealing yeah. and stuff. Basically like a young Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Yeah, selling crack. And this is around the crack e epidemic that was going on in the 80s. Yeah, 1984. Yep. And, and basically it deals with him having to... If you've seen the trailers, he, it's his rise and fall of, of uh, basically ha selling drugs and everything while also eventually becoming an informant for the FBI. Yeah, FBI. And then there's some twists and turns. That, I mean, if you guys probably know the story, you know it was a pretty fucked up ending. And how it all turned out, and if you haven't, I'm not going to spoil anything. I will say, go see this movie. Yeah, uh, this was, movie was, was fucking, fucking great. great, man. I I went into this. I knew Matthew McConaughey was going to be great, but I was a little skeptical with the story, and I was wondering uh, with the kid. But then again, I at, at the end of the day, man, this boy, uh, Richie Merritt, Rich, yeah, the the kid that plays this guy, he fucking nailed it out of the park. Yeah, he definitely did, and. Uh, mm -hmm. To get my pros, like the cast in this is all they're all phenomenal. Oh, fuck everybody's phenomenal. Matthew McConaughey film. and film, man. and Richie, I think, like they are on par of each other in this. They're like, yeah. I I was thinking that this is gonna be a film. I knew it was gonna be about the boy, but I thought Matthew McConaughey being like, such a great actor, he was gonna come in this and just steal it from this boy. Yeah. Which I felt like if they did that, it probably would hurt the film because it's supposed to be about the boy. But this boy, and it's funny because he's really not got anything on his name came in here and he acted on par yeah this kid's gonna have a great future because him and matthew mcconaughey worked fucking fantastic they together. did absolutely and i also yeah. got to give credit to uh the other the, the daughter as well uh bell poli yeah she was great too um she's hardly in noticed in the in the trailers much but she has a big role in this uh that deals with her lifestyle and stuff and i like yeah, the, the sister the, yeah yeah if you guys remember she's the one in the panties in the trailer and basically, she plays the the the, the, the that you know it's the sister, and she's pretty much a crackhead. Yeah. And, and whoring around and stuff, but she does play a big role in the story. Don't think that she's some black sheep. Oh, just I have to add something into the story. Yeah. And she plays a big role. So. Yeah, definitely. And the other <clears throat> biggest thing I have to really give this movie credit for is they really go like it. it kind of takes a similar like Blow did from mm -hmm. two thousand one, where you see the rise and fall of how yeah. the shit goes down. The very coming, the story of it getting like the rise and fall was well done, like Blow and. That's why I really, really yeah, enjoyed this film. Yeah, shit gets really messed up, like, when this boy, like, mm -hmm. is going through so much stuff with his friends and everything. And there's actually some, you know, like you were saying, the twists and turns that happen where you fucking get the feels for it, man. Yeah, and it's got some very tension scenes, you know. Especially, you know, you're seeing, like, some brutality and some brutality shit that does happen. Like, people getting shot, obviously, in this film. Yeah. I mean, it looks realistic, and the, there's a lot of blood. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, damn, and stuff. And I really, and it's... It's weird because this kid's in so much... He's, like, fucking trapped, you know? He's got to do shit for the informants. Got to do shit for the guys he started to work with. And, you know, when you're in that deep, you can't fucking get out and say, I just quit. Yeah. You know, and shit like that. And then you got the dad has his own thing slinging guns, and he's getting watched. It's just... It becomes this big fucking... You're talking about a life that's spiraled under control. And I'll tell you right now, the writing was well done on that yeah i thought i was afraid that one little little hiccup in their lives was going to take over most of the story but it was blended so well because there's actually like three or four things going all all at once and it all crumbles down in the same universe yeah and i thought that was well done yeah, and and they the I like the gritty look that the movie captures yeah, the too, movie especially was very gritty. Yeah, looking. especially yeah. the fact that it's set in the '80s and stuff. You really feel like all the you 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 get that feeling like how Detroit was back in those times, where it's you yeah. know all run down and you know yeah. you're you got them living in 
and where slums. Yeah, yeah. it's like come, eight mile. Yeah, basically, thing. it's in the same area, yeah, it's, close to that same area. Yeah, it's a <laughs> um, bad part. Yeah, yeah, so there's more we won't go into detail, boo if But I if mean, I had any cons, there's like one, a couple little Nick, Nicky picks here. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, because we said it's a true story, stay like, at, don't just walk out whenever. Uh, at the end, like the credit, I mean, it comes right at the credits, so you don't have to worry about anything like Marvel and wait to the end. But they actually do, like, you see a lot of the real, uh, based off true story stuff where they actually have the real person. Like, thing. yeah, you actually hear the real person's voice. Yeah, I like how they can able to do shit like that, go and find the, you know, real people in movies and then have them, you know, put in the film a little bit. That's yeah. pretty cool, too. But, um, uh, uh, if, on my cons, if I had to say anything, it, there's parts this film does feel like it's in the 80s when it's supposed to be. I do have a hard time for most of the part looking 80s because a lot of it kind of reminds me more 90s looking. Yeah. Because they, they didn't really do well with the whole setting of making it look 80s because there's so much shit that's going on in this film that looks 80s or 90s. Now, they do have 80s music. And yeah. They, and some of the club scenes... 80s looking and they do do like some hair will look 80s but that's about it the rest of it looks scr it's just screams yeah, the, fucking the feel 90s. the feel of it could have looked like it could have came from the 90s like if yeah. that makes sense like the overall like i know this is during the, the period where basically it's all i know 90s rap. ain't far away right. from 80s right, right. but yeah. i mean you, you get that feeling like it, it could have like easily took place in the 90s but i, I <laughs> see why they went with the story you know, to give yeah. it that kind of gritty look, like it, it could have uh, yeah. been. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna really dig hard on that because really, I just was so invested with this movie from beginning to end, and I'll tell you, it's a fucked up ending too. That's yeah. fucking bullshit. But I, I'll tell you right now, th this is a must see. Yes, this is. This is definitely gonna be on one of the best movies I've seen yeah, all year. Yeah. My, yep. my, my top, top ten, 10 best year. of movies of 2018, and with that, I'm gonna give this a phenomenal grade on the Film Freaks meter. I agree with him. Phenomenal grade on the Film Freaks meter. Highly yeah. recommend it. Fair enough. And for those of you who have also seen White Boy Rick, uh, also after named after, which is funny because my dad's name is Rick yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, this is your movie, Dad, too. Don't forget that. <laughs> um, the, for those of you who have also seen White Boy Rick, let us know in the comments below and what you thought about it. And if you like what you see here, you can feel free to like, subscribe to our channel, and check out some other views here and on our website at filmfreaks.com. And we'll be seeing you in our next review. We'll see you later. Later.